Hey everybody, how's it going? Santa Panda here with MMA Mayhem TV, and we're talking about Conflict 65 Capital Punishment. And we have one of the guys that is competing at the event, and he is headlining. What do you want to call it? Main event. Main event. Ready to throw down. He's ready to knock out some more people. Hello, Colin. How about how's it going, man? I'm good. How you been? I'm good, man. It's good to see you. Uh, competing uh, back in Colombia, man, and uh, how's it feel coming back? Um, I feel like it's gonna feel like uh, like it did last time. You know, big crowd. I got a, uh, I know I got three tables sold, so should yeah. uh, should have a big crowd there for me. Yeah, I, I love I love the uh, the excitement that you you bring um, with the crowd, and it's not even that. It's like uh, just because y'all guys uh, tend to um, do the cross training in Colombia. You know what I mean? And then so it's like. You know, you're competing and you have fans and you have, you know, fans from other gyms and all that stuff that's helped, you know, excited to see you compete too as well. So that's, that's always exciting to see. Um, so what have you been up to, man, since the last time uh, you competed? Really just training, just getting better. Um, I learned a lot from that last fight um, with NFC. I mm-hmm. just got to be a little bit more patient, especially with guys who are higher level. Um, I kind of just jumped the gun on that one and got caught early on. Yeah, yeah, and then so you're just kind of staying in the lab and stuff. And speaking of lab, like uh, we got a new spot. Yeah, 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 new yeah. spot. Soda City Combat Club. We're in Five Points now. Yeah, um, we've been there for about three months now. So yeah, cool. how's that been? How's that been going? Like, just good. It's good reaction to every you know everything. Or oh yeah, um, I mean it's in Five Points, so you get people walking by all day long. Yeah, people sticking their head in, checking it out, and uh, yeah. And we've we've grown a lot since we've been there. So that's good. People poking ahead and seeing a bunch of people rolling around, rubbing on each other, and wearing yeah. pajamas. Why do these guys wear pajamas? Some people are into it, and some people are not into it. So, <laughs> so <laughs> with your cross training, I know I know you you train in Charlotte sometime as well at the Jimmo Gym uh, with those guys. Like uh, how is like I know we talked about this before, but just to really you know talk about it again. Uh, How's that focus for you? Like, you know, going to this gym and coming back home and, and then getting the guys together to get you ready for your, your belt. It's kind of refreshing. Cause I get so many different looks. Like uh, there's a bunch of competitors up at Jim O uh, yeah. that I get to train with all the time, but we also have competitors at Soda city that are able to push me. Um, but it's just different looks. Um, you know, I get a, I get to train with really, really good guys up at, at Jim O and, I can still get to train with good guys down here in Columbia. Um, but, you know, it's just making that drive uh, three times a week. I can't do it. I can't do it seven days a week or else yeah. I would. Yeah. But it's still yeah. still, still great training, cross training. And uh, we get, like you said earlier, we get guys um, and girls from Columbia mm-hmm. just popping into the gym, you know, cross training on Sundays, doing some sparring rounds and, you know, uh, we actually had uh, Skyler and uh, Trey in on Sunday sparring. Awesome. They're fighting on the card as well, so it's pretty cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, because I I did see some uh, behind the scenes uh, footage of of you training, to get some um, sparring in with uh, with Brandon at TNT, and then yeah. you're like, hey, I saw y'all doing an exchange. You're like, yeah, bring it. You know what I mean? So I was like, I re- that really hyped me up. I was like, yeah, he's ready. <laughs> Yeah, Brandon's Brandon's a fun guy to train with because he's yeah. super technical and a lot bigger as well. So if you can take a if you can take a punch from Brandon, you should be able to take a punch from anybody. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what we that's what we believe, right? So that's good, man. So like, what's going on personally, man? Like, I know you, you are you because you you know you have the gym, you're focusing on you know building that student base and then and passing that knowledge into Columbia. You know what I mean? Um, like so that and then you know what do you do personally now? Like you know just to kind of like ease the brain off from everything, you know, man, it's hard. I got so much going on, but luckily, luckily, uh, at Soda city, I have, I'm a part owner. So I have my buddy Pat and Matt who are helping me out. Um, Sweet. so when I'm not there and I'm up focusing on my own training, they're running the gym, helping me out. But, um, I mean, other than that, you know, I, I, I try to get on the golf course a little bit, but, Sweet. um, don't really have too much time when I'm in camp. So I haven't been able to golf in like two months, but 
I'll definitely be getting back out there uh, in the next couple weeks. Right. Yeah. And then, are you going through your your progression of a weight cut right now, or or just kind of are you doing like the hard cut in the next couple of days, or how do how do you how do you go to that process? Um, I've kind of tested it out a bunch of different ways. Uh, I've I've grown to like just doing the cut all at once. Yeah, and I feel like when I do that, my my training is a lot better throughout the camp mm-hmm. because I'm able to get the carbs and fuel my body the way I want to. Yeah. And um, then I'll just, you know, cut really quick and I'm able to gain that weight back yeah. uh, just as quickly. So I've, I've learned that that's, that's the way that I like to do it. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I tried to do the 15 pounds once and then I, like in one day, that's just too much. <laughs> yeah, 15, 15 in one day is a lot. I, I usually do about 10 in like, yeah, the yeah. last day, but it's all just yeah. water weight, so. Yeah, it was it was just water weight, but still, it was only way too much in that bath. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. yeah you sit in the bath or sauna for about four hours. It's way too much. It, it seems like your brain starts to cook, you know? <laughs> yeah, you feel cross-eyed by the time you're done. That was good, man. So so what are some of the goals and future, like, goals, not even just fighting, but, like, you know, for your school and your student base? Um. So... The, we've, we kind of feel like the spot that we're in right now is uh, temporary, but we want to grow into a bigger spot. We want to stay in five points because we like that area a lot with yeah. the, the amount of people that are coming through every day. And I think five points actually enjoys us being there too because they're trying to get rid of that college bar scene and kind of, yeah. you know, they, they like that, that we're kind of doing something different in five points. Um, yeah. Yeah, I see that. I see Columbia is trying to go away from that. Uh, that whole, that whole strip of like where Sharkies was, or I don't know if it's still there or not, but like that whole little strip they're trying to change. So, yeah, I think like I think they've shut down like four or five of those college bars. Um, they got them. They got them with saying that they weren't serving enough food. Yeah. Um, so that's how they shut down like most of those bars. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good balance. Yeah, because I, I mean, my time in school there was a pretty intense with the drinking and, and partying out there. <laughs> oh yeah, I used to, I used to do it too back when I was, you know, maybe, maybe underage, <laughs> getting it in and stuff like that. But yeah, that's good, man. Yeah, dude. So, like, any people you want to give a shout out to? Thanks, you know, for this, for this camp going into this fight. Um, yeah, I want to give a shout out to my team, um, my family, my brothers, I get to train with them. Like I, like I always say, it's really cool going up to Jim Owen and being able to train with my brothers. Um, yeah. definitely my girlfriend, she's always supporting me and, you know, I, I come home to cook meal and, nice. uh, you know, she, she picked, she picks up around the house whenever I'm, uh, slacking a little bit throughout <laughs> camp. Um, That's awesome. <laughs> but but I want to thank my sponsors, Jim Oaken. He's a a big sponsor for me. Uh, Stephen Goins and his wife LaShawn through Fat Fleet and uh, Show and Go Guns. And then uh, Beyond Pills has sponsored me. I I just got that sponsorship. Um, they're a food food prep company here in Columbia. Um, Sweet. So they've been able to hook me up a little bit as well. Nice. That's awesome, man. That's great. All right, man. Like, hey guys, if y'all guys want to watch Colin throw it down, you know, uh, you can get tickets from him. Excuse me, you get tickets from him. Uh, he has tickets that are available. He he can give them to you, or you can go to conflictmma.com to buy their uh, tickets or purchase them there. And just make sure you put Colin's name in so you can get credit for it. And if you can't make it to Columbia, um, you can go to combatlabs.tv forward slash conflict uh, to watch the pay-per-view there. Uh, and, well, of course, you have to purchase it and you can watch it. Uh, Colin, I do appreciate taking your time. I know you had a busy schedule, uh, you know, and then this week is really busy for you. And uh, I know we we're playing um, uh, phone tag and stream tag. So, <laughs> yeah. But I do appreciate it, and I will see you uh, at the fight, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.